Dr. Biden, elected officials, pre-hospital care providers, the United States Search and Rescue, the Israeli Defense Force, Rabbi Lipsker, and all the Surfside families, good morning. This has been the most difficult year in my life and my family's life as my wife, Judith Ann Spiegel, Yehudit Bas Mordechai, was killed in the Champlain Tower collapse alongside your 97 loved ones. 8777 Collins Avenue, apartment 603, was my home and our family lost everything. I know what it means to be, feel profound loss, and one year later, time has not healed my broken heart. Like all of you, I carry this extreme void with me because Judy's life was taken away from us so abruptly. Judy was the matriarch of our family, I did not even know where our bank account was. I was lost and continued to struggle daily, just like all of you. Judy was the CEO of our family. She supported me in my career. She is responsible for being the best mother to my three children, Rachel, Michael, and Joshua my son-in-law, Seth, and my daughter-in-law, Laura. I love you all. She also helped care for my 90-year-old mother. She was passionate about supporting her friends. Dr. June Scobie Rogers, whose previous husband was the commander of the Challenger. Judy would travel with June to NASA-related events regarding Challenger and the Challenger Center. Judy was a student of the Holocaust. Her friend, Eva Schloss, a Holocaust survivor who grew up on the same street of Anne Frank in Amsterdam. After the war, Eva's mother married Otto Frank, which makes Eva Anne Frank's stepsister. Judy traveled with Eva throughout this country Eva would give lectures to children and adults about the Holocaust, and Judy would be there for her, because every time was such a difficult time for her. It has been extremely hard not waking up next to my best friend every morning. As I am grieving my profound loss, what has given me strength throughout this past year is people that were there for me during the loss, uh, this tragic loss. We have visited cities in New York, Southampton, Memphis, Chattanooga, Panama City, Panama, where we sponsored the Kiddishes in Judy's memory and talked about her, her life, and Surfside. We wanted to do something really significant, so we decided, all of my family, we went to Israel. We wanted to go to Israel to meet with our family, but more importantly, to thank the Surfside IDF from the Home Front Command. We thought that was a very important thing for our healing. And we went there and we met with Colonel Golan and General Gordon and the Home Front Command. We got to go through one of their training exercises and be there while they trained. And they even made us falafel. <laughs> Thank you. But that was very important for us. Um, the mayor of Ball Harbor, Gabe Grossman, came to that event as well. And even we had Shabbos with the prime minister. 
these were unbelievable, unbelievable um, part of our healing. And our family is committed to give back to those who gave to us. I want to also acknowledge Dr. Dario Gonzalez from the New York USAR team and Dr. Joe Holly from the Tennessee USAR team. I knew both Dario and Joe from my work as a pre-hospital care provider and the commander from the New York DMAT team. Both gentlemen knew Judy and, and loved her and, and came to her funeral as well. Judy loved her family. She loved her family and friends and she was the fabric that kept all of us together. She had a heart of gold. Judy taught us everything about life. She taught us about Yiddishkeit, the importance of a Jewish education, and supported Israel. She was the most loyal person I have ever met and always found fun in everything she did. If there is one thing I can leave everyone with it today is that hope to inspire everyone to be more like Judy. Life is short and we need to focus on people we love. I hope we can remember Judy's beautiful spirit and smile. I love you all. I love all the families. God bless America and God bless the state of Israel. Thank you.